The BC Wildfire Service is trying to join two wildfires together to make it easier to fight. We made the decision to do a planned ignition to join the, the two fires the Monroe Fire and the Aeneas Mountain Fire um, and that decision was made basically to remove unburned fuel between the two fires which inevitably was going to burn anyway and do it in, uh, in a weather condition where we had uh, a bit more control of what was occurring. So we use uh, an ignition device called a, a plastic spherical dispenser uh, basically dropping round balls similar to ping pong balls filled with a chemical. There's a reaction that occurs when it goes through the machine that's in the helicopter and dropped out. Once they hit the ground they ignite and they begin to uh, burn which allows us to control the intensity based on the spacing of those balls and once we get it down closer to the guards we cease the aerial part of it and we use a helicopter for that and then we do the rest with uh, ground crews using hand ignition. Burgess said the cost of this is relative. All things going equal they're actually uh, surprisingly cheap. In this case, because we use the fixed wing air tankers to put retardant down across the top, there's a significant cost associated with that. But we have to balance the cost against risk. And uh, when, when you factor in uh, human life and property, we sort of don't get worried about the cost if we're protecting those kinds of values. So yeah, there'll be a cost associated, but in the big picture, it, it, won't, it won't jeopardize the overall, it, you know, it won't be a shocking amount. My biggest concern would be an unexpected wind event in the next few days. We still have a lot of fire out there uh, in a variety of places that's not uncontained. And if we had an unexpected wind event, that would cause us problems for sure. For up-to-date information on all the wildfires, you can head to castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Peachland.